Are we live? Are we uh, live camera action? Fish and Vibes TV back at you with another unboxing video. This one is gonna be fun. All right, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I got a lot of stuff right here. Before we get into the box, we type the warehouse, which is like three to four hundred dollars stuff. All right, like forty items somewhere around there. Uh, opening my subscription shirt from the Guggen Squad, Team Guggen, you know, that's how we do, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to just slap this shirt on real quick, oh yeah, oh yeah, looking nice and fresh, I like it, I like it a lot, I got some cool shirts, and I got to wear them sometimes, so let's get into Tackle Warehouse unboxing, okay? Pretty excited to get inside two fishing vibes. That's what it says. That's what it says. So I got some some odd lures, some some different lures that I would like to see in the six pounder's face. I'm sure some of you might like to see that too. Soon, I'm getting me a drone, a new lens, a whole bunch of other stuff to improve the quality even more for you guys and myself because I like to see high quality stuff. Look at myself, looking cool. Oh, it's like this is literally like Christmas for me. Oh my god, there's so much stuff in here that I don't even remember I ordered, and it's a great feeling. It's a great feeling. Oh my gosh. Alright, we're just gonna start grabbing stuff. We got the Echo, Bill Lewis, Echo 175. Hopefully you guys can see that. But uh, yeah, the Bill Lewis, Echo 175. Probably might open it. I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted to try some different square blows out. This is a, there's a lot of square blows in here. I'm gonna forewarn you guys now, but a lot of square blows that I know you guys haven't seen before. So stay tuned if you like square blows. A lot of other stuff that's not square blows too. What? Oh. All right, that's cool. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Not this exact color. I got, probably got a couple of these. I'm sure I got a couple of everything. But the Crush 50X Square Bill. Let me take this guy out the package so you can see it. You have to see in darkness. Real nice. Bluegill crawl looking deal. It's pretty flame. Chartreuse, orange, and blue bottom. Definitely pretty flame, my friends. Pretty thick stuff right there. My square bill box is gonna be full of juice. Oh, oh, we got a Bill Lewis MR6. This is what um, Brian Latimer and uh, what's his name? What's his name? It's not coming to me. It's not coming. Mark Daniels Jr. It's right there on the package. Mark Daniels Jr. Signature War. It's been wanting to try this too because it looks cool. Bill Lewis MR6. Comes with Mustad, KVD, uh, triple grips or whatever they're called. Already installed, so that's a bonus. Chartreuse Blaze. Definitely a sick color. I've seen Brian Latimer and MDJ throw this a good bit. Pretty cool looking color. Chartreuse Black Back kind of deal. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a tackle addict. And I like watching people unbox stuff. So, if you don't like it, sorry. I'm sorry. I enjoy it. It makes me happy. Got some Beast Coast jigs. Ted Bass kind of put me onto these, I guess you could say. I don't know. I've seen him using them. I figured, hey, might as well try them. They, and I like flipping wood a lot, and I'm tired of getting hung up and losing my jigs. So, I wanted, wanted to try a double weed guard jig. Alright, so 
Yeah, it's got a double weed guard. It's got a bluegill type pattern. What, what size? I think this is 3 8 Yes. 3 8 is my favorite size jig just overall. The skirt's pretty cool. The skirt is definitely pretty cool. It's got like some like some hair action going on. But the double weed guard. Pretty cool. I think I got a couple of those. Here's a chartreuse black back uh, crush 100x I don't have as many of the 100 size so I figured let's get some here is got some lucky craft stuff all right some lucky craft stuff going down lucky craft what is this called I can't remember right now the lightning Stacy 90 SP all right so suspending 90 size check bait and what color is that? Aurora Black. Type of like shad black back. And this is more of a perched bluegill type deal. Flick, flick, golden sunfish. Yeah. Look at that flake, flake, golden sunfish right there. A whole lot of cheddar cheese. Bacon, broccoli, you guys. Another Bill Lewis Echo 175, a different color of, uh, yeah, this is a different color, is it? Yeah, two bluegill type deals, but just a little different bluegill type deal. This is the first one I showed you. This is the other one. So two bluegill deals. Uh, what we got here is, oh, this skirt is Juicy! It is juicy. Six cents swim jig. I love the six cents swim jigs. They are just marvelous. They're just marvelous. Uh, I got a couple chatter baits in here. Let's just go through those real quick. Um, I got the Weedless Project Z 3 8 ounce. Never thrown the Weedless Project Z's. Um, I just like them. They look cool. So I figured I'd get them. And they have a weed guard or brush guard or whatever it's called. I can't think right now. But, yeah. And I fish pads a lot down the Potomac. And fish a lot of wood a lot. And, yeah. So, I want to get my tatter bait up into all that. And with this, I should have a little better opportunity to do that. The skirt is juicy. The blade is gold and juicy. And Z-Man is just flat out the best chatterbaits. I've tried so many different chatterbaits and none of them, just none of them even come close. Like, just, they just don't. Personal favorite, honestly, is the original. Well, there you go. Chartreuse, original. Not that color, just the original chatterbait is my favorite chatterbait. We'll see how this guy does. The brush guard isn't too thick, but definitely help prevent some hang-ups, I'm sure. But hookups should still be pretty good. Oh, this is pretty, pretty sick. 13 fishings square bill. Alright, um, airfoil carbon bill. Alright, so a couple of these square bills. More buoyant. Almost the equivalent to balsa, which is the best. It backs out a snag more. You can bump into wood, stop it, it'll back out, hit the same piece of wood twice. And that's what you want to do to get them re reaction strikes. I just wanted to try some different stuff, some innovative stuff, some new stuff. So yeah, I got two of these because the other colors I wanted were out of stock. But this is a sick color. It's blue crawl. It, this is the Scamp 1.5. That's the name of this square bill. The lighting is so poopy, man. I have to come up with a better area to do this type of stuff in, but you know, it's a work in progress. But just look at that blue, man. Like, it's just sick. The bill, carbon fiber bill. I've never even used anything from 13 Fishing KVD triple grips. And yeah. 
kind of reminds me of a Mega Bass S crank, like the shape. Sort of. Uh, here's another Six Sense Crush 50X. Another bluegill pattern, but this the first one was a crawl. This is bluegill, like straight bluegill. Baby bluegill. Salmo or Salmo, I don't know which one it is, but this is a cool crankbait. This specific one dives uh, 5 to 10 foot, I guess, depending on how you're cranking it. But it's got a weird bill on it, and it's extremely, extremely buoyant compared to a lot of other crankbaits. What color is this? Greenback herring. I, I kind of see it as bluegillish, so that's why I got it because I, I don't have enough bluegill style square wheels and crankbaits. So, yeah. So, yeah. You guys will see me put all this stuff to use coming soon. Another Beast Coast jig. This pile is just getting out of hand. This is pretty cool. Um, new pair of split ring pliers. I have. Mustad and one other pair. I don't remember what exact pair they are, but these are supposed to be the best pair. Um, Texas Tackle. Um, I watched Tactical Bassin's video, and he recommended these. Or they recommended these, so I'm going to give them a try. Start swapping out hooks. The good thing, a lot of these that bait that I use already come with good hooks. But certain ones and certain things, and you never know what can happen out in the water. You might break a hook, you might bend something out, so you need to be able to change out hooks. And I haven't been able to because I've had crappy tools, so hopefully this changes that and it works. Just to go with that, we got some owner oval split rings, 20 pack, that was pretty cheap. So, yeah, figured I'd get that, and they're good, so why not? Okay, what color is this? I don't know. Green pumpkin purple. Good bluegill imitation crawl imitation chatterbait. Original chatterbait. Gotta go with that. Alright. Ooh, this is this is the other MR6. This color is just sick, man. Like purple crawl and transparent. I don't even know. That's like my take on it. Ghost Crawl. Pretty simple name, but uh, it's a badass color. It's not picking up the purple very well. It's just the lighting in here is crap. I gotta find a way better area or put a light closer. I don't know, but Ghost Crawl, Bill Lewis MR6. What else do we got? A Crush 50X Chartreuse Blackback. Never had too many of those. Another uh, Project Z Weedless Z Man Shatterbait. Can't have too many of those either. Another Bluegill Style 100X. Um, but what color is this? Bluegill Fire. Just a little less light. Got some green in the face. Orangish red. Magicness Crush 50X. I replaced the one that I lost because I caught fish on it. I like like this color. Got it in my six cents monthly subscription box, but I'll probably do it in unboxing on that soon too. If you guys would be interested in that, I don't know. I'm gonna do it anyway because I like doing this stuff. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. But yeah, Crush 50X. And what color is this? Uh, World Crawfish. Another. What is this? Bluegill Spawn Crush 100X. Just a bunch of different bluegill pattern square wheels, which I'm going to put to use. Another Bluegill Fire 100X. Another Baby Bluegill 100X. Oh, these are pretty fire. I'm not even going to lie. The Ike's Micro Jig Missile Baits. These are pretty cheap, too, so. Depending on how I like these, I might get some more. Um, super finesse. I might even actually throw these tomorrow or whenever I go to fish the creeks. 
definitely when I go to the Juniata for smallmouth. I needed to get another A rig. This is something that I'm pretty happy about. A light wire A rig, so we're not, you know, you got some flutter to it. The A rig that I got, Picasso HD. Ouch. That hook's going in my head. Picasso HD is just massive. And I have an eye rod that's specifically for big baits and swim baits. And I don't know if it's the reel I got going on, which is a lose. Super Duty 300, or or what the deal is, but it just wasn't casting how I would want it to. So I got this is actually smaller than I want, but I'm still gonna catch fish on it. I mean, I'm definitely put it to use. But the Yum Flash Mob Junior. Oh, yeah, pretty happy about these two. JT Kenny's Nickels Lures Magnet. All right, but it's weedless. It's got weed guards on it. It's got a much more stout hook than the typical Ned. Um, you can fish these around rock a lot more so than a regular net and not get hung up as much. Uh, I heard about these from Mikey Balls Fishing, so go check out Mikey Balls Fishing. Another six cents swim jig, different color. This glare is irking my soul. I don't know what color it is. It is Sunfish Streaker. Some chartreuse, some blue, some green pumpkin and purple. Another Salmo crankbait. I mean, why did I get only one of this color? This color is so fire. It's got like sparkle, glitter, red, crawl, juice. I don't know. It's magic. Crawl bomb. I'm definitely going to have to pick up some more of these. Might order them right now, actually, because I'm crazy. I'm an addict. I'm taking this one out the box. This is two. Too flame for you guys not to see it close. Crawl bomb. I don't know if you guys can see the glitter, but it is just sick. Sick crawl. Maybe it's your voice. Good one, Patrick.